Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Beans! <laughs> I'm so sorry it's taken me such a long time to get back to Beans, but here we are. So we're going to go in, load our game, and this must be us. Okay. So we're... Oh, that's right. We're at the university, and they came in and trashed our coffee shop. And we have to, like, clean it up and get stuff going. All right, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Oh, it's going to play the cutscene again because I ended it. Oh, dear. Can I skip this? We've seen this. Yeah, they just come in and throw all their trash. Okay, bye, girl. Fuck out of here. Okay. What the heck was that? They come in, insult a place, throw trash on the ground, then leave? Ugh, maybe this wasn't the best. Go eggplants. Oh, girl. Occupy something. Oh, God. And he's the fucking health inspector. Get out of here, Mary. I don't need you. Okay, can we play yet? There we go. Okay. So we need to clean up all of this trash, which is not hard. And then we need to start getting some appliances. Um... I guess we need a cash register. Is it R to rotate? Okay. So there it is. Appliances and a tip jar. That'll be nice. And the coffee machine. So then food and drinks. Research menu. I think that's the coffee machine. Ooh. Yeah, okay, so we have common coffee. Okay. And that's all we can get with the coffee machine. Okay, that's fine. Let's get an espresso machine. And see what we can do with that. So that's... Probably... Just the espresso machine? So, espresso. Hmm. Alright, we've done that already. Is it espresso and coffee? Nope. One out of two. I'm gonna guess it's the espresso and the tip jar for some reason. Okay, the Lucky Espresso. Alright, so we have that. No one's even come in yet. Let's get some furniture before we waste all of our money. Um, What's the highest appeal? Oh. Let's get a couple of recliners. And a little end table. Oh god, I can't afford that. Oh crap, we need people to come in! Um... Okay, someone came in. I saw them out of the corner of my eye. Come on, someone else come in. I need an end table. <laughs> Oh, this level's gonna go badly, I can already tell. <laughs> Alrighty. Please don't throw your trash here. <laughs> Please don't throw your trash here! <laughs> I asked nicely. Oh, she's in a wheelchair! That's fabulous! Hello! I'm glad you could come into my coffee shop. I'm glad the game designers included that. Okay, we can get this stupid block. Oh, and I can't even put it in there. Oh, God's above. Is it shift? Yeah. Oh, there's trash back there? Girl. These people. 
All right, and that should be enough appeal for the moment. Oh my gods, look at all this trash. We have 339. Please come in. I need money. <laughs> What's the next appliance? A goat pen? <gasps> I forgot. You have to like milk animals and stuff in this game. Oh my god. It's so much. <laughs> These college students are messy as fuck. That's what I think this space is here for. They're like, put your goat here. <laughs> and you're like, okay. Guess I will. <laughs> oh, this is going so slow. Hopefully it'll pick up once I get the goats. Because I think that gives me goat milk. Which is good. Because then I can make like cafe au lait and lattes and cappuccinos. Hopefully. Oh, cool. I can get the goat. Hello, goat. <laughs> Look at you. So I need to wait for five bucks to come in so I can get a new recipe. Okay. So food and drink. I'm gonna guess it's... Coffee and goat pen. Nope. Is it the espresso and the goat pen? It is. Goat milk latte. Cool. So now we offer goat milk. I think that was our goat. Going, me. <laughs> what is this game? All right, we can get a pour over brewer. And we need to research that. Please stop leaving your trash. That is our goat bang. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, oh, that's not trash. That's something else. I think. Oh my God, this trash. <laughs> oh, the little goat is so cute. All right, let's get a syrup dispenser. And then do some research. So we can only make one more. I'm gonna guess it came with the pour over. Is it pour over and syrup? Conscious, crime against, okay, it's not. Pour over and goat milk? Goat tea. Oh, that sounds gross. <laughs> yeah, give me some of that goat tea. Girl, why are you drinking in my kitchen? That's unsanitary. All of this trash. Dear gods above. Cool, we got a favorite order. That's good. Hope it wasn't a goat tea. Bless whoever's favorite order is a goat tea. Oh, it's like goat tea. Jesus, that took me way too long to get. <laughs> okay. So those are all the recipes we can make. Let's get another appliance. A hemp plant? Girl, we must be in Colorado. Prop 81 made it legal for us to have this plant here instead of in the back room. Girl, we're fully in Colorado. We'll put it next to the goat. The goat can eat the leaves and get high as shit. Um, God, all of this trash. Trash! Okay, so I've done that a couple times on the channel, I think. It's a quote from, I forget who. It's this company, kind of like BuzzFeed, I think. And they did a video on YouTube about, like, Victorian dating etiquette. And, um, she was talking about how, like, and you could be a baroness and, uh, a guy of a lower rank is your date trying to court you and your mother's sitting there and she just goes, TRASH! And my old roommate and I used to do that to each other all the time. Just from across the room, we'd scowl at each other and go, trash. So it's part of my, <laughs> part of my, um, glossary, I suppose. But like, look that up. If I remember, I'm going to link it in the comments. It's a pretty funny video. Um, that part especially. I don't know why, but I just love that. <laughs> um, we can make two things. Unknown and unknown. Oh my gods, this trash. 
I'm just going to buy the recipe because I don't like failing. Um, I think I'm also going to get another chair. Another cube. And then another armchair because these have pretty good appeal. And then I just need to wait for a couple more orders to come in. Like one more order and then I can buy a recipe. I also, I'm not hiring anybody. I don't really need it yet. Come on in, girl. I see you smiling. <laughs> oh, God. Come on. Come in, please. Oh, there's some trash. I don't think we're going to beat this level this video. I'm going to try my hardest. <laughs> um, I guess I can just experiment. What is it? Hemp and coffee? No. Espresso and hemp? Hemp and pour over? <sighs> and now I wasted all the money that I was going to use to buy a recipe. Come on, girl. Be your favorite order and give me $15, please. Nope, just five. But this five will put me over. There we go. Food, drink, menu. I'm going to buy this recipe. So syrup dispenser, hemp, and espresso. Espresso, syrup, hemp. Six pump special. When you just can't shake off the morning yawns, drive this calorie-laden sugar bomb down your throat for Mexican, maximum caffeinated hyper rage. Jesus. <laughs> that seems a little intense. Also, why would the hemp do that? Well, whatever. Look at all of this trash, and I'm talking about the college students. <laughs> okay, we can almost get that other recipe. And then I'll try and buy another appliance. There we go. Hemp plant syrup dispenser pour over. I was close. I just needed the syrup dispenser. Ooh. Hello? Oh my gods. I don't know why the menu just closed on me. Oh, because she's freaking out. You're okay. Calm down. <laughs> Maybe I do need some help. Okay, sweet green tea. Cool. Let's get another appliance. A torch? Useful whenever you need to light up. Also, it's primitive enough to even make proto-humans gaze in awe. Monolith sold separately? Oh, okay. I can't just put that on the wall? That's going over there. Like, that doesn't need to take up counter space. Oh my god, all of this trash! Get the fuck out of here. Okay, let's get another, or let's look up what we can make with that torch. Torch and espresso machine. What the fuck is this going to be? Smoked espresso. Okay. Goat pen torch. Oh no, are we going to make kebabs? Oh, smoke chev. Okay, good. Or chevre. I don't know how do you say that. It's good, though. I do enjoy goat cheese. Does not like me, but I love goat cheese in all shapes and forms. We actually have a few goat dairies where I live, or at least one is still left. There used to be more when I was younger. And they make this really good, like, pressed goat cheese, so it's, like, solid and kind of waxy. Oh, it's divine. And we all just call it goat cheese. I don't know what the actual name for it is. Um... But sometimes in, like, the store you'll see it and it has, like, um, 
pieces of roasted green chili mixed into it. Oh, it's the best. But yeah, it makes me really sick. But sometimes it's worth it. Um, it's so good. I love goat cheese. Okay. We can get another appliance now. Ooh, a kombucha scoby. I cannot have kombucha either. <laughs> that It really messes with my digestion. Uh, I don't know why. It might be like yeast die off. I don't fucking know. But like... Almost every time I have kombucha, I get, like, intense intestinal cramping. It's really fun. Don't be like me, kids. Respect your body. Um, just the kombucha scoby. Okay. Kombucha tea. How surprising. Who would have guessed that? And then espresso coffee kombucha. Kombucha espresso coffee. Come on, someone pay me. <laughs> there we go. Tart attack. Tangy flavor and enough caffeine to flatline a horse. Most popular drink during exam weeks and 3 a.m. benders. Jesus. People have caffeine problems. I can't. Like, I drink any caffeine and I'm, like, shaking and my heart is, like, palpitating. And I'm not even kidding. I think I have a murmur. Um, <laughs> my heart regularly beats around like 80 to 90 beats per second, which is not very healthy. Um, and I think it's because I have a murmur and the like regular pulse detecting devices kind of get messed up with the murmur. I don't know. I'm probably going to have a heart attack at some point in my forties, especially after having COVID twice already. Who knows if I'm going to fucking get it again. So, you know, looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh gods okay we have enough for another recipe and I can stop being so morbid um pour over brewer kombucha scoby kombucha there it is research scoby tea okay by pouring hot water directly over the wriggling scoby a somewhat effervescent slurry not unlike egg whites is created bottoms up ugh that sounds disgusting Stop leaving your trash. Who's crying? Oh, the goat. What are even the goals on this one? Progress. Earn 3,000. Protest President Dump. Oh my god, that's fucking fabulous. Place seating for 15 people. Okay, that's going to be the hard part, I think. But we'll have a protest at some point. I'm pretty sure that's under the event panel. Oh god, Mary, calm down. It's not that bad. I'm going to get her some help. Because she clearly can't handle it. Alright. Can we research any other... What's this? Hemp plant torch. Oh no. <laughs> I have a feeling I know what this is going to be. <laughs> Literally weed. Thanks to Proposition 55, we can get away with this now. No more back alley sales for us. Yeah, we're in Colorado. Colorado or Washington, I would assume. God's above. That guy just ordered... or The girl in the wheelchair just ordered a doobie. Good for her, but like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is hilarious. But at least we have some help now. Okay, let's get another appliance. A chicken coop? Like, in the store? Oh my god. Um, I guess I'll put it here. <laughs> Clean up all of this fucking trash. All right, let's research this. Just the chicken coop. I should just try the new item on its own first and save that $35. Balboa coffee. Crack an egg, egg into a coffee cup. Drink it. Run up some stairs. Get sick, Adrian. Um, I think that has to do with Rocky, if I had to guess. Chicken coop torch. Oh, no. Please let this be like a fried egg. I don't want to cook the chickies. Yeah, burned egg. A popular snack. This town burg specialty involves burning a raw egg until it's black on the outside and raw on the inside. It's salmonella-licious. This game is fucking hilarious. 
I love this game. It's so charming. And the graphics are fabulous. Um, I think we can do one more food and drink. Goat pen, chicken coop, coffee-o-matic. Okay, so goat pen, coffee-o-matic, chicken coop. Science-proof coffee. Based on discredited quackery from the most eminent 1970s New Age voodoo practitioners, this super coffee will boost your immune system, cure your illness, and solve your ennui. Um, wish you didn't trash talk voodoo practitioners, but, like, the rest kind of applies. There's a lot of quackery out there. However, nutritional science is evolving constantly, and it's really hard because people are so individual. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we don't know, and a lot of stuff that scientists are discrediting and we just haven't figured out. But, like, there's definitely some snake oil and quackery going on, too. Like, let's be real. All right, let's protest this fucker. $250. Oh, my God. Ugh. Speaking of protests... Today's the day that they finally killed fucking Roe versus Wade and protests are going on and they're throwing tear gas at people from the Capitol building. But you know what? America's fine, right? Best country in the world. Freedom. Yeah. Cunts. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> Do we have any more appliances? We can buy a hot plate. Oh, Lord. I feel like we're going to burn the place down. Um, can I just do a hot plate on its own? This will be the one time I can't make something. Yeah, cool. My favorite. It's probably like, I, I would guess the hot plate and the chicken coop would make sense. No. What the hell? I'm bad at this. Stop throwing your fucking trash. Um, and we can't afford to research a recipe. Good, good, good. Give us some money, girl. Please. Thank you. Thank you for four pieces of fucking trash. Um, kombucha, chicken coop, syrup dispenser, hot plate. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Uh, so kombucha, chicken coop, syrup, and hot plate. Oh, no. I'm kind of afraid. Kombucha? There it is. Kombucha placky. Goopy deep fried Polish pancakes marked with the tang of kombucha. You'll agree. Moje ul. Oh god. Winroshki shovu ugnil. No idea. I do not speak Polish. I'm so sorry if that was something very rude. Um. Kombucha and hot plate. Are we making kombucha leather? <laughs> Scoby cakes. Preheat your hot plate and grill up a sizzly scoby surprise to inflict on unsuspecting customers. It's mucilaginous. Ugh. <laughs> it's usually not the word you want to hear. <laughs> it's mucilaginous. That's not a very common texture in European food. I don't mind it, though. It's just, it, it gets a little taking, it takes a little getting used to. It really does. But it's not bad. Like, I um, enjoy natto, which are fermented soybeans that are slimy. I like them. Uh, very allergic to soy now, but I enjoyed it when I could have it. <laughs> I would go to H Mart up in Aurora and get it and just have that for breakfast sometimes with some spicy mustard. And it was really nice. All right. I'm going to start saving. Are we out of kefir fermenter, ice machine, fridge, wheatgrass loom, plain waffle press, garden repurposer, water rustificator? Jesus. There's so many appliances on this level. I want to have that protest, so we're saving up for that. Because we're getting enough, like, favorite orders that we're making a good bit of money. Poke in the dumpster. Uh, <laughs> and then... We'll have to get money for chairs. Okay. What was that? That was a weird noise. Has the chicken come out at all? I don't know if I've noticed. I've been too busy cleaning up trash. Oh, there it is. Little chicky. 
It's like the chicken coops in The Sims 3. <laughs> Oh my god, the trash! Okay, we have 201. It costs 250. We'll throw the protest, and then I think I'm gonna call the episode here. And then we'll finish this level next time, because saving up for all of that seating is gonna be a pain. Oh, good, a fave order. That's my favorite when people get their favorites. Oh, we're almost there. Come on, people, give me your money so I can protest the cunt of a president. <laughs> and that's applicable at any given point. Fuck all of the government. This whole country's a sham. 238. Come on. Someone order your favorite thing. <laughs> I love how she just, like, slides. She does the, um, what's it called? The cha-cha slide. Okay, let's protest this stupid president. Why can't we? Oh, there we go. Why can't I do it? I can afford it. Why can't I do it? Oh, gods. I'm missing something. I wonder if that's, like, the last thing I have to do. Okay, well, I'm going to leave us here. Um, I will be back next time, and I guess we'll throw the protest then and get some more seating in this venue. So I will see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so, and I'll see you next time. Bye!